We'll put that recipe on our website, by the way, and it is some of the best salsa I have ever had, and it's so easy and so fresh. All right, we're headed out for Mexican food because sometimes, you know, you just want to get out. You don't want to cook at home. And we found a place that actually has delicious fish tacos. They're a really popular thing on the West Coast. Uh, I've had them in Hawaii, lots of fish taco shacks out there. Um, but now we can get them right here at Beckett's in Oshkosh. See how they put them together. Take a look. Hi, Amy. Mike at Beckett's here. Um, today we're going to do a little uh, demo on fish tacos. Um, it's a new, uh, a new item at the restaurant we're having a lot of success with and people really seem to like. Um, what I have set up here is a standard breading station, flour, egg wash, so that's egg with milk, and our breadcrumbs. Um, and here I have mahi mahi cut into nice little thin strips um, to make our to make our tacos with. So I lightly flour them. I'm just going to do a couple pieces today. Lightly floured milk and the crumbs, and. Uh, you can use, a, again, you can use uh, different kinds of fish for this. It doesn't have to be mahi. You can grill it. You can, uh, you can cook it any way you like. Um, the grouper is a great one in tacos. Uh, but it's a, it seems to be a newer trend going around. And like I said, the people are really, really enjoying it. So we're just going to take our breaded fish, and we're going to drop them in the fryer. Uh, and they're just going to cook for a minute or so. Uh, because they're so thin, uh, they'll get done plenty fast for us. Uh, we have corn tortillas, um, and unlike a lot of places with tacos, we don't use lettuce. Um, we're going to use our house-made our house -made coleslaw today. Uh, we have a pico de gallo that we make in-house again, and some shredded cheese and guacamole. Um, we're just going to take our tortillas and warm them up on, uh, on our flat top griddle here. Uh, just, looking to, just looking to get some warmth in them. A couple seconds on each side. Um, oven would work, uh, microwave will work, but it'll uh, get them a little stringy. So we're gonna bring our, uh, <coughs> excuse me, we're gonna bring our shells back. Uh, we start with coleslaw. We lay a little bit of coleslaw down for you. Um, fresh cabbage, shredded carrots, celery seed, a couple of seasonings, and some dressing. Everybody's favorite. Uh, then we're going to go a little shredded cheese. We use a, a Monterey Jack and Cheddar mix. And then hopefully our fish is just about ready and that will go on next. Sure is. We have our fish right there. Nice, fresh, white, crisp, delicious. And the goal with any food, right, we've got to put too much on it so it's impossible to eat. Well, we're going to keep up the effort. Then we're going to put some pico de gallo on it. And some guacamole. And there you have Beckett's fish taco.